Hey there. My name's Carol, and I'm a motorcycle instructor. Uh, I don't tend to do a lot of talking on phone because I'm normally riding. But um, hey there. What I'm intending to do at the moment is uh, just go for a little commentary ride. <laughs> Lovely day. This is along a toll road, and I don't tend to do commentary rides. The reason I don't do commentary rides is because um, I tend to be focusing on what I'm doing and where I'm thinking. And the moment you start trying to put into words what you're looking at, you're not actually doing the thinking about what you're looking at. But this particular little road that goes where I'm going now is a little coastal road which has got a 25 mile an hour speed limit on it. Now, admittedly, I can't tend to share footage on this because it's... I'm not saying it's difficult, I can sit at 25 mile an hour all day, but we know that if you just try and concentrate on something, then, um, you know, just the thing of trying to keep on 25 mile an hour is, is just virtually impossible. And if you start trying to talk about it, you, your mind will wonder. This is it. If somebody tried to talk on the phone, they're distracted. Well, they're attracted to the phone. That means their mind is paying more attention to the conversation or what they're doing rather than what's going on in front of them. And the moment we start trying to talk into this little microphone things and doing commentaries, then that's exactly what we're doing. And there's no way that I can talk as fast, especially if I'm going fast, there's no way that I can talk as fast as my brain thinks. But going along here at 25 mile an hour, that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and throw some things in just to show what exactly I'm looking at. So here goes then. Chucks away and all that, chaps. Spot in here as well. Lovely day. What's as hell? And we'll keep that needle on the 25, so I think it nicked for speeding. I know everybody's really, really important. You know, I'm going to die if I go over 25 mile an hour. But hey ho. Okay, I'll land over on the bike. There's a pedestrian here. There's no pedestrian path. Well, there is now, but it's covered in brambles. Oh, road works. Mm. You can see we're going in. That's nice and slow into the 25 mile an hour limit. And, um, of course, the interesting thing here is that I've put my helmet camera, I've zoomed it in a little bit, so it's a wide angle thing, but you can see that I'm looking around myself all the time. Um, Whereas the camera that's on the front of the bike is fixed and looking straight ahead. So you get that one view of the world. And I can sort of compare it so you can see where my head's looking in comparison to where my bike's going. Oh. Alright, looking along now I've got a little brow of a hill. Uh, probably to the right, just keeping an eye to make sure nobody's coming out. We'll pass them now. Moving out, keeping an eye because it's bending down to the left. And uh, whoop, speeding kills. Yay. So now uh, we'll keep it down to 25. Alright, we've got a sign for a left hand bend, but the road's going to the right. Watching out for the cyclist. Keeping left, so I can see. Now I'm going out to the middle of the road, but um, there's buses along here. So I'm looking through to see if I can see any warnings. I'm cutting in now, cutting through the apex now. Over to the left to keep an eye. Making sure I keep out of the high compliance cycle lane with Pintarnacked over. Um, now keeping out straight line a little bit, keeping out to the right, keeping an eye on the dip to the left. Now moving back into the left to see who uh, to the right. There we got the roads dipping down to the left now. So I'm checking my mirrors to see the long line of cars that are drawing behind. And oh, oh it's got it. I'm exceeding the speed limit. I'm going to die. Now you can see how fast I'm trying to talk here. I'm only doing 25 mile an hour here. And there's a long line of cars behind me. And uh, moving over to the left just to keep a wide view, just in case something comes around wide. Now I can see the chicane, I can see there's a bus coming. There we go. So now keeping into the left to give him plenty of room. Another time back to over, but the cycle lane is wonderful. Now trying to move over, looking for them clues through the bushes again, 
trying to see if there's anything coming through and that's it yeah okay Whoa. don't exceed the speed limit I'm gonna die and now we're over looking now the road's going round to the right so I'm picking a path that's taking me over to the left just in case something comes around there wide and now okay oh beautiful view through some woodland now so I'm just taking a nice sort of amble along here now keeping to the speed limit so I'm taking a sort of straight line here so I'm moving out to the right now to take a walk through keeping an eye on the woodland because there's parks up ahead there's this people could be playing and people could be running around never know what's going to come out anyway and of course we've got animals in here because it's a beautiful bit of woodland uh, uh, okay back on the speed limit again because I'll die and now um, right, okay to bend to the left coming out to the middle a little bit to look through the bend and we can see where the road's disappearing up again got a nice bit of a clear view but the road disappears to the right of ahead so I'm taking provisions for that I'm moving into the left just in case there's another bus coming nice clear view now the cars coming the car in the distance coming this into view so again you can see a bend to the right in the distance so just taking a nice wide thing keeping an eye on all this because of the cycle path up to the right there and so now you've got activity down parks so it means because children can be playing around here okay now let's so see keeping to the left just to make sure keeping an eye all right there were solid white lines parked up from the left now so i'm pulling out checking my mirrors and bringing it out to the right just to keep an eye on what's there there's somebody sat in the second car keeping an eye making sure they're not pulling away uh, a couple of other parked cars i'm watching this because it's a giveaway where nobody gives way so yeah that's okay all right now i'm going to take the right left now it's into the 30 so bringing it down and we want to go back down there which is all nice and clear and we're going to go around this little tight corner here lovely and we go we're into a 30 again Whee! do 30 now oh right. i'm just going to go down here and i'm going to turn around and then we're going to go back the other way and do it all over again isn't that nice look at the view all right again keeping an eye here in these driveways on the right and i'm going to turn into the left there but i know there's a road goes around to the right so i can see this bend and it sharpens up but we're not going that way we're going to go into here checking into the car park as we draw up looking up the inside right where are we going to go she's going into there let's go up here and have a it's nice and quiet i think that's it yeah, quite a few people so we'll just go for a nice little quiet turn around here and look at the view let's have a look at the view as we turn nice and slow Oh, watching him coming out let's give him a wide berth then all right that's it and getting it to the left coming out of the car park because we can see where the road bends around there keeping it quiet keeping an eye down to the left again and now we've got a bend which we have the gravel the work surface this is looking out for loose gravel on the surface here and leaves and stuff making sure nobody cuts the corner into the car park something coming down the hill so we'll keep nice and tight into the left just to make sure that's safe yeah there we go white band for that and that lovely and oh, back into the 30 again keeping an eye coming out because we've got these driveways on the left so i'm keeping an eye but i'm also noting with the road bends to the left so i've got to be a little bit cautious just in case something's coming around the corner and uh there is also a bus which is coming through there i know he's not going to come out there's a car turning left another car waiting to go is it giving way to the straight on or whatever what else we got here so the bus is going to go straight on anyway the car's waiting to go in the hedge pedestrian on the right blocking my corner and i've got a land rover wanting to come around as well bus okay well i'm not going to go whizzing around behind the bus just in case so we'll wait here for a minute and uh oh hold on it look at this one where are you going now how's that so that's both on film. Uh, okay, well, anyway, what can I say there? What you just caught there was uh, somebody cutting the corner and uh, off they go. And if, of course, now, if you think I'm going up to 25 mile an hour here because I'm going to stay nice and legal because I'm recording this. And you can see that, um, of course, they're all sticking to the speed limits ahead of me. 
But hey ho. But let's keep it because I'll die. And um, off we go again. Now I know that the road is, and I'm just keeping out towards the middle of the road, keeping an eye on what's coming the other way. Um, but also trying to keep away from the debris and stuff that's on the side of the road. So, keeping it nice and slowly, keep scanning, got a play area up there. Again, this road bends to the left, so I'm coming out to sort of keep an eye, but at the same time making sure nothing cuts the corner on me. Road bends to the left, uh, right now, so I'm coming into the left. Again, not too close, because there's a lot of debris and potholes and all sorts in there. But I can keep it left just to keep an eye on what's going ahead, because it's quite a clear view into the undergrowth. So just keeping it nice and slow. And of course, uh, uh, again, building up a line of cars because everybody keeps still to the speed limit along here. Uh, watching out for the parking bay. Again, keeping a line that's to the left, but not too far to the left, so I run in all the debris. Um, now, road's coming, there's got oncoming vehicles, so I'm staying left for a little bit, but as soon as he's gone, I'm keeping out towards the middle because I can get a better view through the bend up to that far corner where I can see the chevrons warning me of a sharper bend to come. Um, watching that speed again. Oh, I don't want to die. Um, now I'm moving back to the left a little bit because of the oncoming chance of where somebody's cutting through the corner in front. Again, somebody could have been trying to overtake that cyclist and we got a magpie. Hello. Sharp bend warning sign to the right. So again, moving to the left just to keep a better view ahead and uh, making sure nothing comes wide in that corner. And checking that, all nice and clear then. All right, so now I can come out to the middle. And uh, here I'm taking a straight line. Now, you can't see them because they've rubbed out, but there's double white lines at the middle of the road that should be here. You can just see them faintly. So we don't cut those because again, we'll die for being illegal, but hey ho. And again, can you see the white lines in the middle? But I'm taking a straight line as much as I can, but now keeping cautious of what's coming the other way. So, and over to the left now to make sure it's sort of see if anything comes wide and having a better look. And then coming out to the middle again to get a better view as early as I can, but giving me chance to do something about it as well. Again, into the left a little bit to straight line, keeping an eye on my mirrors all the time because going at this sort of speed, you never know who's gonna try and overtake you in frustration. Now coming back out into the right again, keeping an eye, making a look at the road going to the left, going up, and we've got three line of stuff out, the road disappears right to the right. Oh, there's the chevrons. So now that's a tight one, so I'm checking to my left and moving back over to the left to see what's coming up, just in case something comes around a bit wide. There we go. And now out to the middle of the road again, looking for that better view out to, into the left-hand bend coming, and the uh, funny cycle thing. And right, back over to the left, Keeping an eye again for the crest of the hill sort of disappearing. I've got traffic lights ahead, so I'm making sure with the vehicles behind me know I'm slowing down for the traffic lights. Because I'm a big fat cow and he might not be able to see the lights past me. So, reducing my speed, bringing it back down again. Oh, the traffic lights. There you go, you can react to this. Have a look at the sea. Look at Wales! Look at Wales! Yakido! Lifesaver to move out to the right, making sure nothing's coming through. That's right. Okay. Now again, the road's going to go up and round to the right here. So while I'm keeping an eye, checking out the three cars behind me, keep using the road to the left, checking up to the left for the cycle path. And then I'm going to be turning right here, but it's a blind corner and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to watch this right-hand indicator on, yeah. watching this because they can come whizzing around there, sharpish as fuck. Lightsaber, and in we go. And of course, we've come out at 25 now, we're in a 30. <laughs> yep, they're in big. Okay, coming into the left, slowing down, so you can come up through. Anyway, keeping an eye on road going around, car parked on the pavement, so keeping it, holding it back, looking for where the road goes to the right, watching the red one behind me. Because he is getting impatient because I'm going slowly, but hey ho, that's the problem. Couple of bumps, keeping it wide, looking, okay, somebody parked for the thing, and uh, coming out around them, watching this road to the left because they're going to come in sharpish from that. Uh, 
the road surface is lovely here yeah the, the potholes it's just a lovely slalom course so I'm trying to keep an eye on them and uh, of course when you're starting to try and talk it's everything is coming in all at once I'm looking around to the right now and uh, what we got we've got a car merging from the left I'm keeping an eye on because he doesn't not sure no he hasn't seen me but okay a pedestrian area now we've got a blind turning which uh, local knowledge tells me I've got to always be careful of people coming out of so we will keep it a bit cautious here just in case there's somebody there but not today luckily right western seafront now I'm looking for my left turn ahead which is just coming into the view by the archway got it like changing ahead so I'm watching and keeping an eye on what's behind me pedestrians approaching the corner which is probably going to turn out so what I'm going to do I'm going to back off because he's got an arm a baby in his arms so keep it nice and slow pick him up level yeah they've seen me watching up the road yeah they've seen me I'm right, keeping left because of the parked cars on the right I'm watching we've got a car reversing around the corner now this over red I'm scanning that road to the right just to see if there's anything coming to give me prior warning but the fact that the blue car is moving off tends to suggest that it's safe to go there so keeping an eye to the left now keeping an eye to the right park cars along the right pedestrians on the right so keeping to the left again but watching out for the potholes and holes in the road and all that sort of stuff uh, that's it now getting into a little chicane here so uh, where the road goes around to the left and everybody gets confused because the map still shows that you can turn right here and so they made it a one way so watching people coming out of there who's gone left Where are we going to park? I think we'll park there. Cool. Alright, watching the wing, make sure the wing's coming around behind me. And I think that's game over. Hey ho, we're going backwards to Christmas. 